Yeah, thanks, uh, Ken. You're around, thanks. Uh, well, Minister, as you know, since the revelations of the breath uh, test scandal at the start of 2017 the, on Garda uh, they're still not publishing full stats uh, on the website uh, in relation to uh, uh, MITs and, and uh, formerly the, um, uh, well, the mandatory intoxicant tests um, and the respective number of checkpoints and, and breath tests, uh, they're, they're not displayed. Now, I've been asking you, I think, about that matter since April 2017 and also about the level of training training among Garda Shikana in the use of the Draeger 5000. Um, and uh, I, I asked you, I think, about the total number of tests carried out in each county, along with the number of positive tests, because previous PQs told me that only data in respect of the number of positive preliminary drug tests performed at, at mandatory intoxicant testing can be provided. But of course, we need to know the full picture, Minister, if we're to see, uh, and we still have, I think, this year, although it's down six, uh, we have a very significant Minister, number of fatalities. Please. Minister. Um, as the Deputy will be aware, Ciarán Corla, the recently published Commission on the Future Policing in Ireland report, recommends that policing must be information-led and that data should be seen as a strategic asset and a key factor in determining policing decisions. My department is currently analysing the report and my officials are currently engaging in consultations with Angarda Síochána and the policing oversight bodies and the appropriate departments in order to inform my substantive response and the high-level implementation plan and project structure that I intend to bring to Government by December. With respect to Deputy's question, Section 10 of the Road Traffic Act 2010 provides for mandatory intoxicant testing checkpoints, MITs. The purpose or the powers of Angarda Síochána under the 10 Act were extended under the Road Traffic Act 2016 to allow preliminary oral fluid testing for drugs to be taken at these checkpoints, in addition to the current preliminary breath testing for alcohol. These provisions came into force on the 13th of April last year. I'm informed by Angarda Síochána that it has conducted a total of 101,965 MIT checkpoints nationally since that time. I'll provide the a deputy with a table which will show uh, which I have received from Guard authorities. The detailed number of MIT checkpoints conducted by division, the number of breath tests and oral fluid tests conducted, the number of persons who have tested positive for alcohol or drugs at these checkpoints and the number who failed or indeed refused to provide specimens. I'm further informed by Angarda Shiakana that the types of drugs detected at these MIT checkpoints are not available. As such an exercise would necessitate a manual trial of all the relevant incidents recorded on Pulse to Calais same, which would require a disproportionate expenditure of guarded time and resources. However, the Deputy will be aware the drug testing devices employed by Angarda Shiakana involve testing uh, a sample of a driver's oral fluid uh, for the presence of cannabis, cocaine, opiates, uh, heroin, morphine, um, and also benzes uh, and, uh, and valium. Brown, yes. so you, you, I don't, can you, you haven't been able to give me though, I think, a breakdown per county. I think, I think I did ask you in, um, in uh, that was in 2017 uh, in the Dublin metropolitan region, uh, but you didn't give me any indication of the, the numbers of drug tests that have taken place outside it. it, it I think the point you make uh, from the Garda report minister is very valid. Uh, uh, policing must be information led and statistics led. Um, the, the, the other major issue that arose in relation to this minister, as you know, uh, uh, which I raised with uh, Deputy Ross, uh, with Minister Ross, was the error. In the Road Traffic Act 2016 relating to Section 11 in relation to the powers of Mangardi to conduct impairment tests and make an, an, an offence if a person uh, refused to comply. Now, uh, I, th I think that section was revised in the 2017-2018 uh, Act, uh, but uh, we, it, it has been noted since, I think, that uh, similar changes will be necessary in relation to references in Section 12 uh, of, the, uh, of the earlier Act, uh, the obligation to provide uh, blood, breath, or urine specimens following an arrest and section 16 and, and minister th does that mean that there's a lacuna again there's an infirmity in road traffic law once again we constantly keep finding these uh, lacunae and gaps in road traffic law minister and, and is it the case is it the case once again minister that um, you should be doing a consolidation as I've asked the on Taoiseach right. I think yourself and Deputy Ross Deputy Brewer, many times we'll if we were to have clear road traffic uh, uh, law thanks uh, Ken. Minister if you could conclude please yeah, I'm, I want to uh, I want to acknowledge the long standing commitment uh, to road safety on the part of Deputy Bruin uh, and I want to say to him and I want to say to the House that 
It's regrettable that it hasn't always been possible to provide the information as sought by Deputy Bruin in relation to road traffic enforcement issues as quickly um, as might be desired. And I know that there are a number of outstanding parliamentary questions for written reply that haven't been dealt with in the manner in which the Deputy um, might expect. Uh, but I am informed by, by Angarda Siakana that due to the very specific and statistical nature of the data requested in many of these questions uh, in relation to road traffic enforcement, the compilation of such data um, is often particularly intensive uh, in terms of the time required. I also understand that on certain occasions statistical information is not possible to collate or break down in the manner in which Deputy Bruin uh, specifically requests. Uh, but I have raised this issue and I am uh, concerned to ensure uh, that at all times replies to parliamentary questions uh, can of course be uh, effective but also can be prompt in terms of their delivery. Uh, so I hope that Deputy Bruin can appreciate that even when delays do occur in the provision of road traffic enforcement stats that uh, officials in Garda Siakana and indeed in my own department uh, endeavour to provide a comprehensive and informative response as quickly as possible. And I, I would be happy to talk on a bilateral basis with Deputy Bruin on this oh, issue. Right. Thank you, Minister. That oh, De Deputy Bruin. I just want to return to the point I think that was very ably raised by Deputy Aylward earlier, just in relation to Garda Resources at our own Joint Policing Committee in, in uh, Dublin, North Central. Um, uh, we, we have constant issues about Garda Resources. Now, you always tell me this is a matter for the Commissioner, for Mr Harris, uh, but um, uh, you know, if we were to return to a level of, of MITs and, and uh, roadside testing, uh, on Garda Shikon, our Chief Super and the Chief Super in Kilkenny and everywhere else has got to have the resources necessary Minister, and, and there, there still seems to be, uh, you know, a huge, uh, huge gaps in that in that area. And the, the important point, of course, has been made that roadside checks are not just for alcohol and for drugs, but ha often lead to detect to the detection of other serious crime. And that's one reason why we need to resource on Guard Shikana. And, and it's okay to talk about 2021, but we need the resources now in late 2018. Thanks, Ken. Thank you very much. Um, that's, we've concluded our I'll time. Just say very briefly, response to Deputy Bruin, that, that uh, I was particularly pleased last week in the context of the government's budget and, and, uh, and Minister Dunner's financial statement uh, that he, he did acknowledge uh, the need for further resources and, and uh, at the Garda vote for next year uh, will be to the order of 1.7 billion euro, uh, which is 110 million euro increase from this year, uh, which will allow for uh, some of the uh, uh, some of the resource-based improvements that Deputy Bruin seeks. Now we proceed to take.